next question uh, will be Andrew Grafe. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, I guess just a sort of status check, you know, Pat joins you guys on the team. Is he able to do any more than the kind of the walkthrough you'd mentioned a Wednesday afternoon? I'm not sure I haven't got uh, clearance on that, but you know, he's gonna be involved in practice today because it's gonna be a mental day, and a lot of learning, a lot of teaching. So um, he's gonna be involved with everything we're doing today. And then this, obviously the last time you guys see this team in Denver, it's, it's a different team with, with, uh, with Jamal, obviously. How have you seen them stay, stay winning without Jamal, without Barton? They've been, I think, eight and one since uh, Jamal went down. What have you seen from them to keep them going? Just staying consistent, you know, and playing through Joker, um, just making everybody better. Um, you know, the biggest thing I think, the biggest key with Barton going out, um, and Ann Murray, but, you know, Barton went out last, is that uh, Michael Porter Jr. really stepped up. He's really playing well. Um, he's taking, you know, some of the load and pressure off of Joker, you know, just being aggressive offensively. So um, we got to lock into those two guys. You know, we know Joker makes everybody on the floor better. Um, so we got to mix it up on how we want to cover and defend him. But we really got to lock into Michael Porter Jr. because, you know, with, like I said, with Barton and Murray out, he's really making the team go offensively. So we'll go next to Justin Russo. Hey, Coach, how you doing? Good. Uh, how would you evaluate the team's overall preparedness as you guys enter the stretch run going into this postseason in about eight games? You mean for the playoffs? Yeah. Oh, I mean, we just prepare as best as we can. You know, we know we have guys out, and um, the guys that are injured, we're still trying to get them on the floor just to do walkthroughs and um, so they can kind of understand what we're trying to do. And, you know, we've added some things. We've done some things differently. So just making sure those guys are up to speed when they're able to get on the floor um, even though we're doing, you know, game speed, sometimes they forget anyway, but at least they know a little bit of it um, when they get on the floor. So, um, you know, it is what it is. You know, we just got to just keep, you know, preparing and getting guys on the floor the best we can. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, we will go next to Ohm. Hey, Ty, what up? Um, just wondering, uh, do you uh, think Kawhi will play tomorrow? I hope so. I'm not sure, you know, as of right now. Um, so, I mean, we know more today, you know, once we get through practice and um, seeing, you know, what he does in practice and how he's able to move, and uh, we kind of go from there. And also, is uh, has Surge progressed beyond uh, five on five yet? Um, well, I don't know if there's any more progression outside of five on five. That's the, <laughs> um, that's the biggest, um, you know, progression is playing five on five, getting on the floor, um, be able to compete, have bodies on the floor with you. So, he's been able to do it the last. You know, a few days. So hopefully we can you know, continue to do more um, as far as, you know, longer stints for him, you know, getting in better shape, but he is still in better. Thanks. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thanks. Next, we'll go to Law. Hey, Ty, how are you feeling today? Good. How are you? I'm feeling good, man. Uh, so I try to ask this Wednesday night, but um, the way I asked it, had you focusing more on the game in Phoenix than uh, what is ahead on the schedule. So I'm looking at the last eight games of this regular season. I'm looking at how you guys came into the bubble. You had eight regular season games to prepare for the playoffs. So quite simply, how are you able to take advantage of where you're at in the season now with these last eight games compared to where the team was last year when they had those same eight games to get ready for the playoffs? I think the difference is we have more time. You know, um, like I said, we have eight games, and we have three more times, and we have two games in uh, two two days rest in between games. So um, I think we have more time than we did when, than we had in the bubble. Um, you know, we have everybody here. All, you know, but we have some guys injured, but everybody's here. You know, last year, you know, Trez, you know, had the incident. Pat Beverly had the incident. You know, Will had the incident. So guys weren't really there. So we weren't able to really practice. Those guys weren't really able to see what we we're trying to do. I'm going forward. So that made it tough. Um, even though we have guys out, you know, everyone's still here. Everyone's at the facility. They're able to see what we're doing. They're able to walk through and just touch the floor and still be around the guys. Um, so that's, that's the biggest difference. Thanks. Um, next, we'll go to Tomer. Hey, Ty, is it too early to ask for starters tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, I'm always honest with you, uh, Tommy, but I really don't know about tomorrow because um, not knowing Kawhi's situation or status. So, um, but I will let you know tomorrow when you ask me about five fifteen minutes. Yeah, five fifteen. I will let you know for sure. Okay, I'm just kidding, but I appreciate the honesty. Yeah. Um, on another note, like with only eight or nine games left, and like this team hasn't been healthy, but when you guys have been healthy, you're good. 
is there a sense of like you're almost running out of time and you have to make do with what you can, uh, you know, chemistry on the court wise when guys are healthy? Yeah, I think we just got to, you know, go with who's healthy right now. Um, just thinking that's going to be our rotation until we get guys back and then we're able to, you know, fill them in. But, you know, it's been hard, you know. So, um, you know, like I said, our young guys, you know, our veteran guys, you know, like even Nico and Pat Pat, those guys have really stepped up. You know, Amir, Terrence, you know, Luke, those guys have really stepped up as well. So um, they got the experience. So it's a little different than, you know, it was last year because, you know, we had to play different lineups because guys were gone and, we wouldn't have a lot of time to play those guys in those lineups during the regular season. So uh, we've everybody's touched the floor, everybody's played with each other. Um, so I do feel confident about that. Um, but like I said, it, it is important that we start getting guys back in a timely fashion because we, you know, we, we are running out of time. Thanks, Ty. We have time for one more from Andrew. Go ahead, Andrew. It's, hey, Ty, just sort of a follow-up to that. I mean. Is this you've been you've been from the NBA for so long now? Like, is there a, when you were a player, or even with Cleveland when you're coaching? Like, there ever been kind of an analogous situation where this late in the season you're sort of waiting for some key guys to get back, and you're still playing a bunch of rotations? Like, do you draw on any experiences that are somewhat similar to this, or is this sort of new this late in the year, waiting for this many guys? Um, it's been new for me, you know. Um, in Cleveland, we had guys in and out throughout the course of the season, you know, uh, Kyrie and. Kevin Love and, you know, Shumper was out. And so we've had guys in and out, but to have this many guys out at the same time is different, you know, and new. And then it's late in the season, um, the same thing. You know, in Cleveland, we always thought that, you know, as long as we're healthy, um, we're in a good position. And I feel the same way about this team. You know, we're healthy. Like you said, we, we show that we, you know, win games. We show we play well on both sides of the basketball. And um, we had a rhythm, but, you know, when guys started going down, you know, they haven't been back for a while. So it's been a long time since we had our whole team. Um, but like I said, these guys have been plugging away. And, you know, when we get to the playoffs, you know, who we got is who we got. And we're going to be ready to roll. Well, no matter who's on the floor, uh, we'll be ready to go. No excuses. Thanks, Doug. Yeah. Thanks, I Have a good practice.